Yo, what's going on? What's up? How's everybody doing? See a few people in the chat already. <laughs> yeah, we we got people telling us it's a late start. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, we we were looking at our watches. We were saying, damn, we're right on time. <laughs> but wait, we have a contest going on. Maybe we should actually put the entries in the pumpkin. Yeah, we. So <laughs> it, it caused a bit of a delay. Yeah, a bit. Uh, but we're a here. Bit. A bit, a bit. Uh, you'll you, you'll care more later. It's but for now. That that that's yeah. that's what happened basically. <laughs> it's also been a crazy half hour. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob Saget just passed away. Oh my God. R.I.P. R.I.P. What oh the God. fuck, man? He was sixty five. Um. So that was like. So we, we got that swimming in our heads, and we're like, "Fuck, we got to do the yeah. fuck." You know, we're we're eating dinner and shit. We're like, "Yeah, oh, we got plenty of time." Yeah. And then we get hit with that news, and then we're like, "Fuck, we got to do the 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 uh, the giveaways." So we had to I, do that I think too, somebody, so. you know, people in this uh, viewing or or possibly in the replay might be finding out right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dusty in the chat saying, "Speaking of Bob Saget, they just worked his last show on Friday." Oh my god, oh my god Dusty, that's, that's incredible. Incredible. what did you do to the man? What did you do to him? <laughs> Just kidding. Wait a second. Do, does anybody does anybody know if he had like pre existing conditions? I don't know. I wonder if it's one of those cases where did it's he just have like cancer? kept it close to the heart. I, I, I guess not cancer, right? Or I think I think rather? I just read that he was. They found him in his hotel room, mm. right? So I know. Oh Ho hopefully, it wasn't like something fucked up, like an OD or something. I, I mean, sixty five. I mean, that's not that old when you think about it. Like no, Betty White just passed away and she was ninety nine, going on a hundred. No, I know. So I know. I mean, if it's your time, it's your time kind of thing, but shit. Damn. Uh, just real quick. So you're probably like, what the fuck? What's going yeah, on? Oh, yeah, we kind of just rolled into that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, welcome. Um, we got some we got some new stuff going on in the, the oh, video yeah. dungeon. At, at, first of all, you're probably hearing us both come out of both sides of your of your speakers now. So, because we just got a, a fucking new mixer, so now we have uh, two. Yes. two we're on the same track, I, it, more or less, and uh, we're just moving stuff around here, trying to get set up for the new season. So we got some new lights and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna take uh, everybody on a little tour, um, possibly on. We'll probably do a video for Patreon, but yeah. we'll take some pictures for the Instagram and the socials and stuff. But uh, but yeah, a little, little uh, BTS of what's cooking here. But like, yeah, everything's kind of in disarray a bit. We got some stuff set up. We got like some soundproofing behind us that you can't see it. So don't never mind. Don't pay no attention to the man behind the <laughs> curtain. You really look hard. You might catch it below our elbows <laughs> yeah. occasionally. But, uh, you know. But again, just ignore the stuff and like this all has to be, you know, uh, outfitted and uh, 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 curated and all that kind of stuff because because we're doing a a, th a three camera shoot for Sean and I and a, and then a four camera if if we have a guest on. So then you'll have a big wide shot of uh, you'll be able to see the whole room and it's all of its glory. And then we'll have uh single shots on oh, yeah. each of us and and the guests and stuff. So yeah, so it's pretty cool uh, as far as the technical aspect we, of it goes. We are figuring it out and yeah. uh, we feel pretty good about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would say all things considered. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh it's it's coming up, you know, it, it's fastly approaching. I feel it's, like it's here, man. Uh, cuz this is like uh again, we we I, I'm saying again, uh, we've literally haven't seen you guys since No, the, I know. Uh, we missed we missed you. The, the patron exclusive watch along yeah, for Christmas. For Christmas. Uh, but it's been damn over a month and change. It, it's it's been a year. Make make her make her dad joke. Now it's been a year since we Fucking talked to Christ. you. Well, we were sitting here before talking about um, just like the episodes, like going oh, back, like year, a year yeah, in yeah, review, yeah, yeah. and I'm and I'm like, that was this year, and I'm like, when the fuck did we do that? And I'm like, wasn't that <laughs> we two years ago? Ted Bowes this year? Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, t I mean, now it's the new year, but sure, sure, yeah. yeah. But I mean, in previous years on these season wrap ups, I was talking to Joe a little bit before we started. I would just be like, yeah, let's go down the list of movies. And in about like halfway through the list, we'd peter out. So we're just not going to maybe do that. No, this no, no, no. Probably talk about it. Generally speaking. Oh, for sure. First, um, before we do anything, I want to say hello to everybody. Yes, yes. In the that chat. was where I was leading. So what what do we got? We got Renan. What's up, dude? Uh, we got Hitman 12B. We got Rebecca. Ken's in there. Dusty. I see, Ken in there. I see Dusty Doom in there. What's going on, Andrew? How you been? Brendan Lemune. We got Andrew Lustek. 
Who else we got? We got in Victor here? the Third in Victor here. Victor the Come Third. On, Victor. Oh yeah, that's right. We got. We're still looking for the the first second and, uh, and the first and second. Um, <laughs> they, they were John Hurt somewhere. Yeah, uh, Jaja eighty three. We got Heimdale, uh, Mahakala. What is up, everybody? Thanks for coming to hang got, out we, with we us. Got a bunch of people in here, man. Um, sorry again. Sorry about the late start, but it is what it is. So. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, again, you want us to do that contest? <laughs> we had it. We had to make sacrifices, and you know it's going to be at the end. So I, I think know, that's yeah. why everybody's pissed. Right? You're like, I gotta fucking stay up know, and yeah, see yeah, who yeah, won. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, what do what do you want to go we'll into right out the, first? We'll, we'll right out of the gate. You know, let's let's catch up a little bit. Okay. With, with everyone. Um, how was your holiday? What was it good? It, mine was was pretty was good. good. How about good. yours? I how no, about you? No, no, no real complaints. Mm. Uh. Kept it pretty low key, but uh, it was it was well, fun. So my my brother's baby, I guess I get well. It's not it is his baby. He didn't actually exp- no, it didn't come out of his body, <laughs> his wife's body. Uh, so so my nephew. From what I understand, time. it takes two people Tango, to to, yeah. to make to make a child. Yeah, I I would hope so. Uh, you know, but uh, that that's other than that it was pretty standard holiday. Yeah, that's fun. That's it, that's it was, so nice, nice that you got to see wife. the babe. That's cool. Uh, and I mean, at this point, like we've got not we have we've gotten through Christmas and New Year's, That's so right. it's like which holiday are we even talking about at this point? Well, well, well yeah, I'm, the holidays. When the I holidays, say, it's yeah, the yeah. holidays. Yeah. But when I fucking say holiday, I I mean them all, everything. Sure, sure, you sure, know sure, what sure. I mean? Especially now because that last like week or two new of uh, December is always crazy. No, that like, too. Yeah, every denomination f- for for everybody everywhere. Um, but. But yeah, and Ken uh, saying he's going to see his family in California. Oh, two that's years, awesome! Or got to see rather. That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. Uh, Norman, you know what's up? You're a bad motherfucker too. <laughs> the baddest motherfucker, I would say. Be careful on that motherfucking uh, uh, forklift, would you? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I had a joke there and it just went out the back of my ass. Uh, what's going on there, uh, Caverman sixty eight? How's it going? And Jaja says, uh, I showed my eight year old nephew a Christmas story for the first time. That's it's that's a, a magical experience, isn't it? I watched it for about the 800th time over the uh, holiday because, you know, used to do the TCM 24 hour 24 day, hours of a but, Christmas but story. But you would really only see it in chunks this time. I was like, you know what? That's the best part. I don't got cable. I got to get the Blu ray. <laughs> that's the best part, though. Like just letting the motherfucker yeah, play sure, like yeah, all day yeah. and you catch a little bit here and then eventually you see the whole movie. Um, and that's one you can kind of get away with, and it's so like famous at this point. Well, I mean, at least for people in our age group, uh, yeah. I don't know about younger if that's the case anymore. I would, I would assume at least, at least their kids, right? Like our, people our age and their kids watching it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would assume so. Uh, Hitman said it was good Christmas, uh, warmer than usual for South Georgia. You know, I have no idea how the fucking weather works out in those uh, out in the middle of uh, America. I'm not I, sure I always, how it works I, I just in think Pennsylvania. It's a big desert, honestly. right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's fucking hot there all the time. I mean, in Pennsylvania, I'm not sure how it works, honestly. I mean, I've been living here for almost a year, and it's like we get a lot. I know it's supposed to be colder, but I didn't think it was gonna be this much colder. And I'm it's, coming from Jersey. It's not that much colder. I mean, the Jersey, sh- yeah. Well, I mean, we I'm were freezing at- my gonads <laughs> off, Joe. <laughs> the, the the shore got more snow than we did. I, I feel like the fucking the guys in Cool Runnings when they come out in in Canada and, and sanka has got the goddamn sleeping bag over his head. Oh man, I feel like I need that. <laughs> uh, Can't imagine the people up like even n- more north than ours, like in Maine and Canada and and shit, are probably like. This guy's an amateur. Yeah, but you know right. what I mean? oh, yeah, that motherfucker. You ever see that video of that dude in, I think it's Canada, and he pours the fucking water bottle out oh, and it just yeah. turns well, to you, ice? They have all those videos down. you see, like from Russia with the hot boiling water off like the fucking apartment building. Oh, yeah. And it turns to snow just about. Yeah, I saw a video where a kid tried to throw hot boiling water and like fucked up and it like came back, or the wind came back and blew oh, it all no. off. Oh, no. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty That's fucking like, funny. Uh, Makes me think of the big Lebowski when they're trying to get rid of oh, the, uh, ashes. Got, yeah, the ashes and they hit him right in the face. Oh, man. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Carver Man said, great holiday. Got to rebuild the home theater. That's always a great time and uh, a wonderful uh, thing to come to fruition for sure. And, and on that note, I got to say, grilled cheese sandwich, dude. You're right. I should eat a grilled ju- a grilled cheese sandwich. I, I would love one right now with a little tomato, pickles maybe. Uh, you know, which kind of I don't fuck it... with that. I just like I like my sourdough bread with with my uh, maybe white tomato American soup. tomato soup, maybe. tomato soup for sure. Yeah. Side. Uh, blah, blah, blah. sorry, I want to I want to get to everything. Yes, yes. Uh, Serge, what's up, dude? How you how you guys doing? Is is homie's forklift kept 
kickflip certified? I think so. I don't know. I'm going to bust a fucking nose grind down oh, it, God. dude. Do a 1080 with a forklift? Has it, <laughs> has it been done? Or only with uh, the main character from Shenmue in Sega All-Star Racing. I think that was, I think he was in that one. Ryu, I think his name Shamu? Was. Shenmue. Maybe. They made that third one. I don't know if it was any good. I, it probably sucked. <laughs> the first one's great, but it's like, hey, it's a cliffhanger. Good luck. We'll get to it eventually. <laughs> For anyone in the chat that knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody just left. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we don't care about Shenmue. It's an old Dreamcast Shen game. What? 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 <laughs> Seaman? What? Uh, Brendan said, do your Twilight Zone marathon. Oh, that's oh, always yeah, the best, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get to do that this year. We watched Harry Potter, that new Harry Potter thing. And that was fun. Oh, like the 20 years later yeah, or whatever. It was it was nice. It was it was uh it was cute, you know? Oh man, I'm trying to think what else I've watched like recently that like I could really get into right this second. I'm trying to, I, I finally watched Squid Game. Oh, I did you? Well, I'm gonna, I want to get to that because I want to talk a little bit about stuff we've just watched. Oh, okay. I, I just I, I kind of rolled into that. That's my bad. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. I just was just making yeah, sure yeah, that yeah. I, I don't want to skip anybody. No, you're good. Uh, Mahakal spent Christmas in Tokyo with his surrogate family. That is fucking cool. That's did you cool. you guys had fucking fried chicken, right? KFC? You were hanging oh, yeah, out with Charnetsky. Right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Side note. Now that you made me think of that, I, I'm taking all these side roads. But, uh, KFC Monday for anyone that gives a shit besides me. They're going to have plant based chicken. Just eat fucking chicken. Eh. What the fuck do you want? Plant. I want to see what it tastes like. It's KFC. It's, it's probably going to be good. It's, just, 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 it's still bad for you because it's fried. Well, <laughs> you want to like really get down to brass fucking tax here. I, I'm going to bet you the dollars to donuts that. <laughs> the, the chicken's got way more fat shit in it than the plants. Uh, it, but you're right. It is still fried. I guess you got me there. Yeah. Got, got, it's still cold. Cat's got the tongue. <laughs> you know what's really good, though? The but fuck? it looks good Monday. Is it a tomorrow. Is it a sandwich? No, it's... Uh, I haven't done heavy research. I oh. saw imagery, and then I set my calendar date uh, of Monday. We'll see if I make it there. But the, it's basically like a bucket of like, uh, it looks like just chicken nuggets or chicken strips. Uh, chi the chicken sandwich? I, I can't I, imagine they have like the full breast. Now that would really just blow my, I I, I don't know if I'd be even talking about it right <laughs> well, now because I'd be just, you know, salivating thinking about it. To chicken or whatever it's called. Um, Yeah, we stopped one day and I got the, because I was hungry. I was like, fucking, I'm, I'm get I haven't had KFC in years. I got I'm the sure. fucking sandwich and... It was amazing, and their French fries were really good. Yeah, I mean, fries now. I saw that. Oh my god! And there's, and it, if anybody likes check, now I'm a big checkers guy. I love checkers, <laughs> love checkers, and I but I love specifically their French the fries. Fries are really yeah, good. Their yeah, their fries are amazing, and it they're kind of like that except like waffle style. I think. Well, okay, so flip side under just proved my point. Well, maybe makes you not want to eat their period end statement, but they comment. Be warned, they keep finding dead animals in KFC kitchens. So, so what? That not that that makes the plant-based chicken <laughs> somehow more sanitary. You're going to end up like that bitch from the Willies, dude, eating the fucking rat? Oh, Christ. That's, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's, a, it's a deep... What if it comes into the plant-based fucking chicken as it's, a dead it's rat? Okay. I'll, it's eat okay. the, I'll eat the fried rat, and then they'll pick up the fucking cucumber or whatever off the floor that the rat was gnawing on, fry that up for you, and there's your vegetable chicken. All right, that's, it sounds good. Yeah. Fried fried uh, uh, zucchini is fantastic. Oh. I have to. I know oh. this is your your uh, uh, five food minute or whatever the fuck this <laughs> is. is. I, I don't know. We're hanging out and talking. No, I know, I know. The garden, the garden. When we have zucchini, we do the the flat the flowers, the zucchini flowers. Oh, okay. pumpkin yeah, flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My grandmother used to make those. Um, what do we got cooking? That's oh, Mahakala to the. Okay, so we were talking about fried chicken and KFC. Uh, homemade Japanese fried chicken and sushi. Holy shit, that must have been awesome. Mm, that is. Um, good. and Dusty, yeah, uh, Charneski's definitely in that sumo garb, fighting fucking fat bastard probably somewhere. You know what? Just just to put a pin on the food talk, and the, and then maybe we can move on. Uh, oh, the grilled cheese and chicken, all this shit its ha happening on the feed right now. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry if you're listening to this while you're driving. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, Rebecca yes. uh, comments that uh, they and their fiance eat a lot of plant-based chicken, and uh, they're so tired of mock meats. They just want fried breading because they love carbs. There you uh, go. Sign me up. Get some of those there cauliflower uh, french fries or something. Maybe get the real deal. Fuck it. Sweet potato fries. Why don't you, you I, I hate sweet potato really? fries. Really? Are you not crazy? Like the taste. Really? Got to fucking cover them in buffalo sauce or something. I don't know, man. 
Give me a regular French fry any day. It's one of my favorite food. Items. I was gonna say French fries regular. You I know but we're making everybody hungry. I'm sorry, <laughs> folks. I'm sorry. I, I kind of, I I fed into the the conversation in the chat. Oh no, you're Pun fired. Intended. Yeah, pun intended. Um, now I really want a grilled cheese with some French. You know, Wawa. I know it's a, a local uh, uh a store. You know, yeah. I'm sure people in the chat, if you haven't heard of Wawa, you you have something similar, whether it's like a Speedway or a Seven Eleven or yeah. whatever your local haunt is. Your your you, that you get your your cheap get you know gas station food, but it's a little bit higher up. Yeah, you scale. get the, the, you get those like sheets is one that comes those to mind. dick pills at the gas station. Yeah, <laughs> sheets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> your yeah. burger and fries yeah. and your dick pills. Exactly, and your, your Red dick Bull. pills and your your lottery tickets, <laughs> obviously, and your USA Gold. Yeah, and and watch all the people stand in front of the uh, self serve, confused <laughs> and not using it when there's a fucking line a mile long. You know, have you okay why is that a thing by the way i'm i i don't know but now that you're now that you're here in pa have you seen these motherfuckers that that sit at the uh the uh the the gambling casino machines in the fucking gas station okay uh there is a gas station slash uh uh dunkin donuts next to where i live yeah and they totally have gambling machines like that at slots in there. Yeah. And the owner and sometimes customers, when I go in there, will be sitting there just fucking boom. <laughs> Some dude just while, while I'm getting a coffee. Side note, two years. I think I think it was about I think it was either last year. Shit. You know what? I don't fucking know. It could have been this year. Uh, I go in there. It's late. We were going to record and we it was like a late night recording. Mm hmm. And it was like 11 o'clock and I go into this uh, gas station that's right down the street from us. And this fucking guy is sitting on one of these machines. Sitting on it? Yeah, he's sitting down at this fucking machine. It's like a thing. Right? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah the okay, casino yeah, yeah. machine and right, right, right. Uh, or the, you know, the gambling machine. I'm still stuck on the food. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm following you. He was now. sitting on a KFC sandwich. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I go to get an energy drink and I go to the the uh, the counter and then like. All of a sudden, he's like, oh, my God. And he fucking won like five grand or a Holy thousand. Holy shit, it was like a lot of money for a gas was, station. Or like, get, or like 15. Know. I forget what it was. It, it was in the thousands. Sure, sure. And I'm sitting there, and he's just fucking going off and like celebrating. I'm like, this is great, but like I need to get the fuck <laughs> To my house. Yeah, like you're, you're ready to be dumb. And this situation. fucking chick is like behind the counter getting ready to like count them out and shit. And I'm like. And I was just about to say something. He's like, he's like, shit, man. He's like, is that all you got? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, you, I got you. I'm like, all right, cool. So it was a pretty good night, but it was I mean, funny. I mean, with that said, just going off of uh, gasoline, gasoline stories, gas station <laughs> stories, uh, Paranorman says, you know, what type of cigarettes do you think Haggerty smokes? We literally were just Mar joking about this Mar in the video we just shot. Well, I was joking about it, really, but yeah, it's, it's Marlboros or, or well, it's not Morley's. This isn't the, the cigarette smoking man from X Files. No, but I, I, I think, think he has a stack. I, I, I think it's Camel in it the might be Camel. I think it's Camel actually in Elves. In elves He's got yeah. the stack of them up. He's here. got the whole fucking uh, carton. L and M's. Uh, is that is that a cigarette brand, Dusty, or is that a uh, gas station? No, I L, L and M is a. Is, is it a cigarette? Cigarette? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you would know. I, I, I don't good. know. I've they're like really they, they smoke like off brand Marlboros. I think he might be hitting those cigars sometimes too, man. He just he gets that, that those puffs of smoke hitting hard. Oh, when he so has he could disappear. When he has to make a big cloud. Or he does like yeah. the old like uh, Looney Tunes. He takes the whole fucking pack <laughs> in his mouth and hits it with the blowtorch. It's like Juno from Beatles. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see here. Give me normal fries. Sean was imagining a gargoyles. Gargoyle man? It's possible. Uh, Uncle Impy, he came out of a fucking bowling this statue. Is, this is true. Virginia Slim's grilled cheese, man. No, thank you. Put out a fucking Virginia Slim in your grilled cheese. Oh, my God. You ruined mm. that grilled cheese. Uh, Joel, show you the pickles and tomatoes. Swisher Sweets we're talking about. Mm. I thought I just saw something that I wanted to comment on. You blew it. I blew it. Anyway. There's too many people in there chatting Man, with us. you guys are just blowing us away because there's too many people in there having a good fucking time. Uh, okay. Food. What about Mo food? Movies. Movies. Let's talk about let's movies. Let's talk about, our, let's talk about stuff that we've yes. seen. Yes. Uh, lately. That recently. Had, yeah, yes. recently. Um, so I guess, I guess I want to start with Dexter because... My wife's been watching it. I haven't gotten into it, but I've heard it's amazing. Man, so so my wife's a huge Dexter fan. Read all the read all the books. You know, mm. has the big box set of the movies and stuff. Or the movies, Jesus Christ, the series on TV. I I wasn't like super super into it, 
I used to watch it. I used to watch it with Chris Barr a lot. And then um, and then when I got together with my wife, we, you know, subsequently watched it sure. a lot more. But that last season specifically, because we we had uh, a well, that's uh, when everybody hated the way it ended. No, or right. Well, the, the last couple seasons were dog shit because they fired the writers or they left or oh, some shit. The original okay. writers that had wrote you. all the way up to season four. And I think there's five and six. I think there's two or three more seasons. Sure. After that. Don't quote me. Anyway, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, Where the fuck was I going with that? Oh, yeah. So. So we used to have um, premiere parties for the new seasons. Um, and that last season after that ended, um, it was total dog shit. But in in my opinion, in our opinion, but uh, this new Dexter series has been fucking great. Like, I don't know if it negates all the other bullshit that they oh, did. Like makes up for it almost. Not that it, not that it makes up for it, but what it does is it's the the ta- the, the writers are super talented because they were able to make all of that shit that sucked work and um in a in a way that's very dexter put it that way okay and motherfucking clancy brown is in it and he's my dude oh yeah um great actor yeah can't even really say he's underrated because he's been in so much oh my god dude his birthday was just the other day oh yeah yeah happy birthday yeah happy birthday clancy brown uh you fucking wonderful man you two face himself in the animated series (laughs) (laughs) mr mr krabs too Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, of course. I mean, yeah, he's he does voices for fucking everything, and he's just an excellent actor all around. Well, you just you just you just sold someone on Dexter. Oh, go do it. Yeah, I mean, we had to sign up for the Showtime app or whatever, but I think it's worth it. I mean, you can unsubscribe when you're done. You know what I mean? Now, here's my question, though. My understanding, though, is you have to. I mean, I'm sure you could just watch it and enjoy it, but you, generally speaking, need to have some familiarity with the character. You, you need to at least have seen up to season four and uh, yeah you maybe need do to, some light research yeah you need to see up to at least season four and if you've seen the whole series you should be fine okay good to know i i may circle back around on that when i finally get through x files that's pretty much like the main show i've been watching yeah. i have i've kind of slowed down a little because i'm getting towards the point when Mulder's no longer on it and that's when I am debating whether I just fucking drop the show entirely oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or watch the rest just out of morbid curiosity. Um, you know, it's still great. I think I talked about it on the last live show. X Files is great. It holds up great. Oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, you just got that new uh sweatshirt too. Uh, yeah, I have I got the sweatshirt from Cavity Colors. Uh I'll, I'll wear it on a video in the future, I'm sure. Uh and uh that they they came out with they came out with a few shirts, but I got their they have a tie-dye. A silver one that has like some art with uh, oh, that's cool. It's like an alien in them. It's cool. I'll, I'll wear it at some point in the future. Yeah, but it's course. on Cavity Colors if you want to look it up. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Um, yeah, I'm on season season seven of that. Been kind of watching it. Feels like six months now for crying out loud. Oh my god. Well, that's a, there's a lot of content, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, but like I said, at the end of season seven, Mulder goes away, and for anyone that's familiar with the show, it's like that's where. It still did okay, but a lot of people feel like that's where it really took a shit because that's when you have like Robert Patrick come in, yeah, and you have a lot of these other characters. Come. I mean, to our credit, Gillian Anderson stays till the end, to my knowledge, or very close to the end. Maybe the last season she might be only in part. Of- anyway, I that's re- that's mostly what I, I can't been watching. remember. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, me and my wife we watched Squid Game. I thought that was really good. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And I have been saying this because I feel like. I mean, we haven't really talked about Squid Game because I just watched it. I don't know if you watched I didn't, it. I didn't see it. Everybody's like, it's so great. And I, I'm like, okay. It's one of those things at first uh, where you might be like, oh, I don't want to get into it because everyone's talking about it kind of thing. But like, I not you, but I'm saying yeah. generally speaking, yeah. it's really good though. It's it's eight episodes. Uh, they're all like, an one's only a half hour, I noticed, but mm-hmm. the rest are all an hour. And uh, it's like, don't look anything up other than like, the only thing you really got to know going into it is just like, People are trying to win money because they need fucking money. Yeah. And they don't really realize maybe the the scenario they're signing up for at first. Right. And they're playing like kids games, but at they're first. deadly. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. 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 And there's definitely, at least in my opinion, and a lot of people online that, that I've noticed, and this is a bit of a niche uh, audience to begin with, but uh, Kaiji Ultimate Survivor is an anime series and manga series. I, I, I think I feel like I've talked awful. about. It's not. But it's very similar. I, but it takes concepts from that. So, okay. like, I, I'll, I'll keep it light in case you haven't seen it, because uh, this is a later 
game in the in the show. Okay. But there's a there's a there's a game they play later where they they go across like a bridge, let's call it, okay. that's on a high platform, and if you fall off, you're you're not surviving. To put it that mm -mm. way. And I'll leave it at that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Kaiji has something very similar to that, uh, but it, it's formatted different. Again, Ka Kaiji came out in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's still being made, uh, but anyway, that that's my side tangent of connecting Squid Game to anime. And, <laughs> well, and, and, and check out check out Kaiji Ultimate Survivor if you like Squid Game and you like anime. Yeah. I, I mean, I would recommend it to people that are even kind of, they like certain things, but they don't watch a lot of anime because I just think it's a really solid show. For sure. It does just it does just kind of end on the second season. Like there is closure, but you're kind of like if you want to know more, you got to really hunt on the internet. But Squid Game, I mean, we're talking about doing two, season two and three already. Uh, yeah. it, it ends in a very compelling way. So hmm. I, I don't think that's something necessarily we would cover on the show unless like there's a reason. To I mean, if you really road. wanted to, I mean, I I've been toying with the idea. Maybe like a battle royale. Maybe like. That's it's not well, the same, but like well, it's in but that it's kind similar. Of I was gonna say battle royale or or, or the uh, condemned with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, or you know, it's people doing fucked up things for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, well, a, in, in a game style kind of thing. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, fuck. Uh, splatter game show or some shit or or death death row. No, I have it in the other room. Okay, but it's like an old eighties movie. Sorry, I was up here to say hello. Oh, oh. oh, oh. I want to say what's up, what's going on, back to the drive-in, and what's going on, Rom Romulob. Is that like a Romulan? I think it might be. I think it might be. Um, what else have I been watching? I mean, we've watched a lot of movies for stuff that's coming up that we'll talk about. But <laughs> other than that, I mean grilled, grilled cheese dude sandwich dude said showtime is the price of like three grilled cheese sandwiches in a month <laughs> it's kind of worth it then right yeah, I mean, only three grilled cheeses that's pretty damn cheap yeah. that's you know honestly that's kind of like patreon.com slash movie dumpster i mean, honestly it's probably worth like two grilled cheeses a month honestly I mean, maybe uh ja -ja. I mean, depending on the tier <laughs> jaja -ja, yes uh clancy brown was the sergeant from starship troopers one of them yes. um Heimdall said he's watching the X Files too with his wife. Season eight was interesting. We're almost done with season three. He said. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And, Vi Victor, and said Victor the third yeah. was interesting. Yeah, I I, I might just watch it because I never have. Like I've seen episodes with Doggett, aka Robert Patrick. I don't remember hating them. I just just like Mulder is such a great character to me personally. Oh yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. You, you you watch certain shows and you connect with characters, and like he's one of those ones that's like. I mean, there's a reason why people, why they did the return. I know, obviously, Twin Peaks and all these other shows were doing it a couple years ago. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I sound like, I always feel bad. Like, I feel like I have to, like, say, like, this is nothing against Jillian Anderson because she does an amazing fight. Like, Scully is awesome. And, I, I and again, I don't know how many people are super familiar with this. I know it's, like, a super popular show, but it was, it's been off the air for 20 years. Uh, I think but, people are very still okay, versed okay. in X Files just, and know I, what I it is. I feel like I have to say that for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just like me, like being like, oh, no, I, I like Scully. Don't get me wrong, but it's like Mulder is just like one of those characters that, that like supersedes the show for me. If that makes sense, like you know, there's certain characters sure. in movies or yeah. TV shows you're like, oh, they elevate the show. Yeah. Like I don't know. It's it's hard to explain for me, but that's no, just how I, I feel. It makes about sense it. to me. No, totally. Um, kind of like you know when all those characters left Happy Days, they just they left the funds. <laughs> but Richie went after high school. Then, <laughs> it was never the same. And then Joni loves Chachi, and who oh, could give a shit. fuck? Would that make three episodes? Of I don't that? know. Didn't they make a show with Ralph Mouth? Maybe. Yeah. If Rebecca, fight the future. Uh, is that the first or second one? I, I watched the first one. And it's amazing. Fight the future is the second one. Okay, that one's more of like a monster of the week because that you know of course obviously that show had a lot of like through line shit but then they have the monster of the week stuff which was is that the, equally was, as good that was the newest one right the x-files movie because they, i remember well, they did too they did one that was while the show was still airing yeah well that's the x-files like 97 right that oh, came oh out yeah like it. show you believe or some shit i, I watched it recently oh, but yeah you're, yeah, 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 you're yeah. right that Fight one the future is like 10 years after that or, or a couple years after the show ended or yeah but then there's another one like a more recent one because i went to go see it in the theater, and I was like, this just feels like oh. a giant episode. Like, well, they, it doesn't feel like a movie. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Um, they had, like, that return, like, Twin Peaks, where they did, like, eight episodes or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in the uh, late 2010s. Uh, Hitman said he watched Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat. We were just talking about that, because we were like, hmm. <clears throat> were we? Yeah, we were talking about Bruce Campbell. Oh, oh, oh And yeah, what yeah, Bruce yeah, Campbell yeah, yeah. movie we wanted to maybe do this year. 
and we were talking about Maniac Cop, and then I was like, oh, yes. what about Sundown? And um, I do remember you saying that now. Yeah, I, it's great. I, I haven't seen it, so the name's like foreign to me, but yeah. that, it's coming back to me. Yeah. And David Carradine's in that. Rip Torn's in that. Oh. Yeah. Um, bu- 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 Patches bu- 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 of Hulahan himself. Sorry, I'm trying to read everybody's stuff and no, keep up good. with you cats. You know, Twitch does this weird thing where it just will just decide after like a certain period of time to just like pause the chat. Yeah, and then it all fucking comes out, and we're like, "Whoa!" Yeah. <laughs> I know this is like some like inside baseball shit, but you know, whatever. Um, I mean, has, have you watched oh, anything else? That's oh, go ahead. Is it is it Rom Romulo? It's a span. He said it's a Hispanic oh, okay. name. Pleasure watching the stream. Thanks. Well, thanks for Thank thanks you. for coming thanks and for hanging joining. out. And same to everybody else. Uh, ha- have you been watching anything else, Joe, that hasn't been oh, uh, related to the show yeah. or other stuff you've been doing? Well, so I didn't really get a chance to do shit like that last year and just to watch movies for my leisure. So my I like pleasure. start. Yeah. So I started making a point of doing it right now. So I just get used to doing it. Right. So I think what did I watch the other night? We watched uh, Rikio. Um, you watched the uh, the uh, original language for the first time I saw. Well, it. so or tried to. So I posted that post, and I'm I'm fucking all ready to go, baby, right? <clears throat> and I go to put it in the PS4, and I'm like, shit, I forgot that that's not the region free player. So oh. I go upstairs, and I get the region free player, and I bring it the fuck down, and I hook it all the fuck up, and I put the fucking disc in, and then it doesn't play <laughs> because. I don't know what my oh, man, I need to bummer. get a new I need to get a new region free player. So um, I know I know my wife is here right now watching this. Um, and yes, you're, you're absolutely right. We should get that UHD 4K region fleet free Blu-ray player and television. You're absolutely correct. And we will do that to watch Rikio. So we ended up watching uh, the Blair Witch uh, sequel again because she really likes that movie. Um, and it was, you like know, the, 20, the one from a couple of years ago. Yeah, 2016. Okay, okay. I had to clear. Uh, no, not Book of Shadow. What I don't know if anyone listening crazy? to this could see this, but anyone watching could see my face, my, my, <laughs> my look of utter confusion. I'm like, okay, you're looking at the monitors again, Michael. Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Season two, go, look, go, go back and check it out. Oh, oh, that's right. And uh, Julie just said in the chat, we watched uh, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker or Night Warning. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Great fucking flick. Uh Susan Tyrell is a force of nature in that movie. Um, and if you I mean, you guys know who Susan Tyrell is, right? Like uh Queen Doris from uh mm. um Forbidden Zone. Yes. And um she's in Cry Baby. She she's uh his her his mom, Johnny Depp's mom, I think. Iggy Pop's wife. Um she's in a bunch of stuff, a lot of B movie stuff. Um, she is so fucking fantastic in that film. And Bill Paxton's in it too, as like a, one of the bullies. It's great. Uh, sure. Um, really, really excellent 70s uh horror thriller flick. Uh what else? Oh, I watched uh The Witch Who Came from the Sea uh recently, that that arrow Blu-ray. Uh it was oh, nice, yeah. it was nice to see that all all restored. It looked really good. Um, and I enjoyed that the other night. Um I think and and then we're gonna get to it, but Cool. We've been we've been marathoning the Texas Chainsaw movies, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Though. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so that's been like the past three days of what I've been doing. I, that's kind of where I'm at. X Files, uh, the occasion, you know, occasional episode of a show here or there, but that's kind of been my main go to yeah. lately. Uh, I mean, Spider Man, we saw that, but I feel like that's still so recent, and I, I don't. I liked it a lot, but I don't oh, really yeah. want to talk about it a ton. Oh, yeah. No, no, like no. Spider-Man was so great. Fresh. Spider-Man was great. Um, we watched Ma- the, the Matrix Resurrections. We, I did that review with uh, with Tony over on Hacking Movies. Go check that out. Give that a give that a like and a, and a, yeah. and a watch, please. That'd be great. Um, I edited part of And a of share. That. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> Not the whole thing, but part of it. I did it. <laughs> Uh, the part where it says you're wrong, Joe. That's not the right actor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've ever watched uh, anyone anyone watching this uh, th- this uh, wrap up. If you watch Tony's videos or not, but uh, uh, I-, I work with Tony and uh, the Hack the Movies crew, so I help him out occasionally. But his uh, his main editor Jessica, she has a habit yeah. of leaving little notes occasionally on the episodes, just like text in the lower third. So I I personally don't, but 
I had to in this one instance just to, you know, twist the knife into Joe's back. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, no. Just to be a ball buster. No, it's all right. You're just busting uh, ball. I don't give a fuck. That was a fun review, though. I mean, I haven't seen the movie. I, I think I may have talked about this on the show before. Maybe not. I forget if that was cut content or not. What? Uh, like, made it on the editing floor or not. But uh, Matrix, I've only seen the first two. Uh, and it's been a hot minute because oh. I kind of checked. I didn't really like the, the second one when I saw it originally, so I never saw the third. And now I'm like behind, so now I need to like play catch up. But I, I'm not in like a big hurry to. I just don't give a shit about those other two movies. Sure, you know, sure. I, I, I the first one's good, and and that's it. I, I got to revisit it because like now that like Tony has revisited, it and yeah. you've you've now the new che- ones have come check out. Check it out. You know what? I, I, it, it's just it's not high on my priority list, but I do want to rewatch them. Be like, all right, did I just not get it the first time? In a nutshell, Was it's I overthinking it, it. It's not. Are we talking about Resurrections? I'm talking specifically just about the series as a whole. Oh, oh, okay. Well, Resurrection specifically, just for you cats, it's fine. Like, it's a it's a fine movie, but it's not a very good Matrix movie, and it's a big I don't give a shit to me, personally. Like, it's just like, it's there if you want it, I guess. Like, if I were you, I'd go watch fucking Bill and Ted face the music instead. Uh, better choice. Right? Better yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I mean, sometimes it's like you know, you're trying to like find a way to like something, but it just isn't happening. Yeah, or, I mean, or you like aspects. Of like, it. like it's fine. It's just unnecessary to me. Yeah, and they didn't really <laughs> go watch the review, please. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to like I'm racking my brain. I don't know. I I, I don't think I have much else. Um, I'm Christmas try- stuff, but I'm kind of like past Christmas at this point. Like I watch a bunch of Christmas movies. Uh, well, you know, I'm, we I'm may done. have talked about on the watch. I'm we did for fucking Patreon. done talking about Christmas but movies the, just, for the think year since we met. Uh, but it's been mostly like Christmas stuff and then stuff for the show. Yeah. I, well, and, that's and, why and X files here and there just in the past week that that's the, that's the stuff I've kind of been consuming. So, yeah, but, uh, and, oh, and, and yeah, chipper Kaiju Gooch. Oh God. Chipper. Oh my the God. Ch- <laughs> Chipper's magical Christmas. Listen, like, this is this is our main live show that we try to do, you know. Well, try to we've been doing monthly for twelve months now. I, well, yeah, uh, which thirteen is technically. If you well, the thirteen, we have, we have the 13 months of the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do the math. Go go back and do the math for us. But uh, shit, I had a point to that. And I I totally lost it mid mid thought. Oh, uh, we do these watch alongs. Uh, we've been doing them for about the same period of time. And uh, commentary tracks a little longer. If you're interested in that kind of thing, yeah, uh, head over to patreon.com slash movie dumpster. We have three different tiers. And th- I guess this is where we pitch it briefly. Yeah, uh, before, sure. Before we get deeper. We into try this. not to stick it down your throat, but we do need to we do need to yes. push it. You know? uh, we have we have three tiers for those that know mm-hmm. I, or don't know. And we have the two dollar tier gets you some free stuff. Two dollar tier gets you free, uh, not free. You're paying to the two dollars, well, but it's for less than a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, you get for two dollars you get uh junk mail videos. So what that is, it's our, basically our mail bag yes. uh um show where you know you guys send us stuff, we open it and we talk about it and say nice things about you. <laughs> and then uh, you also get uh, mini sods too on that for which, the $2 tier, which we've got a few. We're, we're going to try to blow those out more this year, yeah. but we have, they're up there. We got, they're we, not going anywhere. We, we have Frank and Frank Turkey. And Turkey. Uh, we have Steve one and two, the family matters uh, Halloween special. And we have the Alf, uh, some enchanted evening special. Yes. And we have, um, the G- real Ghostbusters uh, Christmas episode, uh, uh, Xmas, Xmas, Xmas Mark Spot. Spot, the Scrooge yeah. one, the Scrooge one. Um, we we have plans of stuff to come, but I don't know if we're necessarily announcing any of that today. No, no. Well, let's see but how that's we feel. something that we are gonna hopefully planning to be doing a lot more of next, this upcoming year. Uh, then we have our five dollar tier. You mm-hmm. get all that stuff too, plus a sticker pack yes. and an air freshener, and that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and then you also get access to the watch-alongs and the commentary tracks. Live watch-alongs, yes. but just like this where we're all talking, but you get to watch a movie with us, and it's really fun. Um, and then, of course, the commentary tracks, which we pre-record and give to you, and you your job is to find the movie and sync it up. Yeah, the last couple we did, we, we actually did a, a twofer with... You know, here comes his name again, Tony from Hack the Movies. We did Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 with Tony. Uh, we like doing stuff with Tony. He's... he's, he's Good guy. He's fun. He's a good guy. Uh, but we also did. He's uh, fine and fun. <laughs> we've we again. We've done. We haven't done one every month. But we done a decent yeah. amount this year. I think like maybe about ten or eleven of them. I, I have the count on a document somewhere. Mm-hmm. But uh, we we did Ghostbusters Afterlife. Or well, we reviewed Ghostbusters Afterlife. We did Ghostbusters twenty sixteen as a commentary. Oh, Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. Uh, Doom. 
We did Doom. Doom. That was a fun one. Uh, our first one from last the, a Samoan like two years ago. Doom, aka a Samoan werewolf on Mars. Yes, that's yes. what it is. Uh, yeah. the, the Legend of Gator Face is one. Oh, the Legend of Gator Face was our first commentary track ever. There's a shit ton of commentary. We tracks. had our Stone Cold Steve Austin Day oh, episode God. from last okay. year, 316 it, Day. Hold, hold the fucking phone. We had a if, lot. If you guys, if you guys have never seen Stone Cold with with uh, Brian uh, Bob Bonsworth, Boswick, Boswick. Or, that's one of those. No, no, no. <laughs> I always fuck this up. Is it bon- Bonsworth, right? Brian Bosworth. Bosworth. Bosworth is his name. Not Barry Boswick. Brian Bosworth. <laughs> if you haven't seen Stone Cold, Lance Henriksen's in it, and uh, there's a lot of that. That guy's other in fucking it. guy, for whatever reason, it's escaping my head. Uh, it was just on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, and you you have access to it, access to it for free. You can it, it you was can on sign, YouTube a year you ago. Can it may sign still up, be. You can sign up. You can sign up for the price of renting the movie yes. and get the commentary track for it because that movie's fucking hilarious and insane. It's probably one of my favorite low budget action movies from the nineties. It's 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 crazy. I, I would agree. And then you get to listen to us make fun of it. And, yeah, and chime in. Yeah. Uh, but those are all in the five dollars here, and those aren't going away. Watch along. We do, again, we've done a ton of those two over the year. Uh, and commentary tracks, and we got more planned. And yeah. then uh, the ten dollars tier, which is all that plus you get and a bag of potato chips, a bag of movie dumpster uh, t shirt chips. Yeah, <laughs> you get a t shirt. You get a you get a glow in the dark enamel pin. Oh, see see ya, uh, uh, Romulo. Or uh, sorry, I'm fucking that up. We'll, we'll we'll get the ticker tape out, and we'll we'll uh, nail that. We'll down. figure it. At out. least it's not me for for a while there, Leo. I know. Uh, Talavera the third busting my chops <laughs> about saying, uh, but have a great rain or roll. Have a great night. Uh, La Yarona. Yeah, I was going to say, I just fucked it up again because I'm trying. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Damn it. <laughs> Lorraine and Bobber. Lorraine and Bobber, obviously. <laughs> um, anyway, you get a ton. But of, yeah, 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 yeah. You get the you get the T-shirt, you get the fucking enamel pin, you get the sticker pack, you get the air freshener, you get the commentary tracks and you get the watch alongs. It's a good time. Um, do a solid or you know what? You don't I mean, even have. You don't to, want to do that. If you, you don't, just head over to <laughs> wherever you, wherever you to get your podcast yeah. and uh, leave us leave us that five star review, please, because it does help. And it, it, it really does help big time. It helps us pop up like in a ton of other places. Like you'd be surprised. No, like uh, the reach that we've been getting lately, especially from because uh, Spotify lets you do that now. If you have Spotify or listen to us on Spotify, if you open that up now and go to our the main page it says or you can rate us so you, you hit the little star and then you give us however you know five stars right ideally uh, but, but you can do that now so that's that's pretty rad so uh if you could do that that'd be awesome um but yeah it's been the the reach uh has been really good and we also just switch hosts which yes. uh should be better to uh con- we cuz we were like doing like three different things for yeah because we started to, to get the, the podcast from us to you basically we, when we started four years ago we didn't know what the fuck exactly we were doing and now we've learned a lot so basically what we did is consolidated it into one uh hub where we can upload and then it distributes to everything which we should have been doing from the beginning um but now everything is as it should be yeah and um I, and yeah i guess the only other thing i just want to on the, on the sales pitch front i guess we'll call it um Head over to that YouTube. Oh yeah, um, we're really because we're. I mean, well, we've been pushing it, but especially like going into the this new year where we're actually going to be doing this video format, not just as a Twitch yeah. live show. Yeah, a monthly. It's going to be the main show, and obviously, if you prefer the audio version or you want to catch it at a later date, it will always be on those the same feeds it's been on for oh, fucking going on five years. Yeah, but. make no mistake. Um, first of all, do us a big favor. Go over to YouTube. Yes, and hit that like and subscribe button because it, it really m- means a lot to us, especially like Sean just said, going into this new year. But don't worry because even the, the shows will be premiering on YouTube. Yes. Right. So so we'll have the date and we'll promote it and we'll tell you when it's going to be. It's usually going to be. Um, well, we eight, eight, eight o'clock yeah. just so everybody has a little bit depending on different time zones and stuff. So we don't really have everything nailed down anyway. Uh, they're going to be premieres, and then what'll happen is we'll have an audio version ready to drop after that. Yes, um, on the podcast app. So if you're strictly podcast or like you swear by it, or you don't have time to come check out the video, you can listen to it in the car. 
but then maybe do us a solid later and come back and hit fucking play on, <laughs> on the YouTube video yeah, and yeah. like it and stuff and share it. That would be cool. But uh, but yeah, we're we're moving totally into video uh, uh, for this for this new season. So it's very exciting. Yes. And then I guess just the final note on that is, I mean, you're already here. You're on Twitch. If you want to follow us, uh, this is the best way to find out when we do go live. I mean, obviously, we yeah. do post about it on Instagram and Twitter and, and uh, Facebook and all that jazz and Patreon. But uh, if, you're, if you're subbed, when we go live, you'll yeah. be told. So it, the, it does the, help, too. So the schedule and the releasing and how we promote those releases is going to change this year because sure. we're trying some new things. The mid- yeah, A the lot mid- of new things, really. The we middle do. of the year last year, we've kind of scrambled to sometimes without getting too deep into it but like yeah you'll yeah. be notified earlier put it that way and you'll be able to plan to to be like oh shit i gotta be home for that or oh it's it's coming out this yes. day and you know exactly when it is right um yeah and i mean for live shows I, and all of that kind I, of stuff. I guess we should comment on this now specifically because people in the chat are asking about it sure uh talks from the dark side yeah it's coming back. I know that we said December. We were really trying our damnedest to make it happen in December. It was just too much with the holidays yeah. and schedules. It just it, it just wasn't feasible. It was How, just too much. However, yes, it is coming back in 2022. When when we have an announcement date, we will be pushing the hell out of it. You will make sure you will not not know about it. Not only that, <laughs> not only will you know about it, but there will be some new merch to come with. Yes. It. Oh, my God. Um, we have some ideas for that that we're not, I don't think, ready to. To, I, to talk about it yet? I don't know, Joe. You, you, you. Well, Surge, don't, don't Surge has seen it. Surge had a sneak preview of it, and all the all the product photography is done for it. It's oh. just it's just a new Talks from Dark Side T-shirt, but it's it's cool. Um, but that will also be video as well. Yes. Um, and we have a really fun. Uh, I guess you could call it like mini blog thing. That's gonna be accompanying that that's gonna be a lot of fun i don't want to give too much away right okay yeah yeah, maybe i'll say maybe i'll say uh, there's a road trip involved yes now you know what i'm talking about now i do there's a road trip involved so that'll be fun to document and it is for a a a a bigger purpose yes so that that's a lot of fun and um we've had a lot of conversations over the the last couple months i just like we were fucking like we gotta do all this stuff but like people uh, at home are like i I know i know we're very i do i just it took me a second we're very cryptic uh, and that's because sean and i have been creating content long enough where you never fucking promise something to anybody until you actually do it and then you can say that it's coming right (laughs) better safe than sorry yeah uh but yeah 2022 it's coming back hopefully in a big way and as soon as we know, you'll know. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably find out first on Patreon, but yeah, it's coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Chris Barr. And Chris Barr, will, Chris Barr will be here in the flesh. Yeah. And you'll be able to That'll see cool. him. We'll be able to touch him. And then you can watch us touch him and talk about Tales from the Dark Side. Maybe, maybe he'll even touch <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, somebody said before, la, 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 the Tales from the Crypt comment. Somebody, oh, yeah. Someone asked if we somebody asked, cover Tales from the Crypt. I'm sorry. I can't see who it is. Uh, but somebody asked if we were going to cover Tales from the Crypt. That is coming. Our plan is to knock out uh, the entire series of Tales from the Dark Side. Yes. Then do the movie. Then do the movie. And that's going to be like a big event thing that we want to do. Whenever with y'all. that may be. And then, um, well, once we get it on a consistent basis, yeah, yeah, we should yeah, yeah. be fine. And the, But then after that, we're going to tackle monsters. Yes. Um, which I'm really excited for because not I'm a lot. Looking at it right now, off yeah, camera. Not a lot of people talk about that series, and um, the few that do speak very highly of it. And I think you guys are gonna love it. And if you haven't seen it, try to find it. If not, maybe we'll help you out if you're on Patreon. Anyway, um, and then after that, of course, comes Tales from the Crypt. So there's still a lot of content before we get to Tales from the Crypt, but we will be getting to Tales from the Crypt. Yeah eventually because we just like we really like the idea and i don't want to put words in your mouth joe but i sure. feel like we're on the same page with this with like the anthology stuff obviously you have a little bit more especially you and chris yeah have more of a personal connection with these shows Big time. but i fucking love them too man like i just i haven't seen them some of the best some of my favorite things about doing tales and these and these shows are like the fact that you haven't seen them that's my favorite thing to show somebody something new that i love 
and then they receive it well. Uh, and, 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 and like we've talked about this before, and like ha- half of it's joking, half of it is like, yeah, maybe there's some truth to it. That you know, <laughs> those DVDs, man. That those. T- I, if you're a long time uh, uh, a listener, you know we've talked about this before. But the Tales from the Dark Side DVD collection set. It's like hard to find now. I mean, I haven't looked in a couple of months. Maybe it isn't anymore. But I'm telling you, we, it was like as soon this, as we started doing it the was, show. As soon as we started doing the show, it's like thirty bucks online if you it, can find it. If well, it still is, because in usually in the descriptions for like YouTube and stuff, or even the um even on uh the show, we would say go to yeah. Amazon or go to Best Buy or whatever, get it. It's only fucking thirty bucks. I don't know. Three months later, somebody asked me like, "Hey, where can I get that?" And I'm like, "Oh," and I sent him the link again. And then the fucking thing was like, was like, like it was like whatever. sixty dollars, yeah. or like there was like none left, or whatever. Weird. If you can find it cheap, grab it. That monster set uh, is out of print, and you're not oh. going to find it for under a hundred bucks. And if you do, snatch it up for sure. I'll, I'll be on the hunt for a couple years then. Yeah. Well, I have them. I'll just oh, oh, well, rip them perfect, for you. perfect. Again, I saw um, them right there. Well, yeah, I have the tape, uh, but that's not all the episodes. Oh. Yeah, I have the, the like the complete DVD set. Uh, Grilled Cheese Sandwich Dude asks, uh, are you going to review the Tales from the Crypt cartoon? Oh, uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper? Uh, I would say maybe that might be like good mini material. That's actually, that's perfect mini material uh, for sure. So yeah, uh, yeah. When we when we get there, we won't say no. Yeah, when we get there, we definitely we'll definitely uh put do some minis of that, and that'll be some Patreon content. Um, um, damn Norman saying he picked up uh Tales from the Dark or Tales, Tales from, from the, the Crypt. Crypt for a hundred and sixty bucks on eBay. You know, if you're getting the whole series, honestly, that's not a bad idea. Bad bad uh price. I don't know how I don't know how much. What's a good price for the complete series? When I got Tales from the Crypt. Because that that was released first before Tales from the Dark Side or Monsters. Because uh, you got the DVD set. Right? I have the DVD sets that were only that that were like as they were coming out, I was buying them. So I was paying sixty dollars a fucking pop for the Tales from the Crypt series, like the original wow. uh, DVD At the releases. Time it was worth it though. Yeah, it was well, like, oh, yeah. shit. Because it was like fuck. Out, everything's yeah. you know there and like re- you know remastered for DVD. Um, which was incredible at the time. Maybe not so much now. They but... still look, they still look good. We watched them oh, when we wow. went when we went to, uh, on our honeymoon. They don't uh, look bad, yeah. but I mean, if it was remastered today, obviously a bit of a difference. Well, there. it depends on the original materials wow. that are available. Fair, but yeah, no, fair. totally. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking real quick. No, you're good. You're good. Deadly Prey is sitting right up there. Um, a lot of people have covered Deadly Prey, but it would be fun to show Sean. That movie for sure. So never saw it. Yeah. Excuse. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Dusty, uh, I see, was asking about new merch. Uh, we still do have a merch we teased in the past. If you recall, it had something to do with Charnetsky that uh, is still coming down that pipeline. Here's here's, here's Deadly Prey. There's Deadly Prey. That uh, the that, cover is pretty incredible. Yeah. Oh, it's a great flick, dude. Bunch and of that, dead bodies in the background. Yeah, that's one of those. That's one of those. Uh, tapes that are like oh my god hard to get thing. Mike Danton it's fucking great holy shit it's a, it's a lot of fun uh, definitely new merch coming I mean me and Joe have talked about ideas and I, I'm specifically mentioning that chunky chicken shirt because we are going to circle back around on that when we finally get to a certain thing but yeah uh, it's done and we have a release plan for it so but we have, we have other ideas we have other shirt ideas uh, that will be coming it's just uh, right the second nothing to announce but as we get into this season uh, we'll probably start putting some stuff out. I mean, we we got the book to the movie shirt here. I'm oh wearing. yeah, yeah. We got Joe Buchanan, Joe Buchanan, Buchan- 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 rules. Uh, well, and we-, we also have our Monster Squad one of this. Oh, oh, my name is Horace, and it's a it's a green T shirt, and it's my name is Horace. I don't know if you all have seen that. We did, we haven't pushed the merch really hard yeah, recently. We recently we, we, yeah. we did put the the Christmas stuff up. We probably should have put a post up. Maybe we'll do that in retrospect uh, after the stream at yeah, some point. Yeah, well, totally. Uh, well, but we got the beanies. I, I should have brought it down. I have mine upstairs. Oh, yeah. Well, those are on the, those are back on the store for the winter. Get those get those pom-pom beanies, those movie dumpster uh, cool. beanies. I like them a lot. Um, I got to get a pink one. I got the I got the gold one yeah. somewhere. I don't know what the hell I did with it, but I got the neon green one. The neon green one, the yeah. The pink looks hot, man. I got to get one. We also have, like, caps. I don't know if you guys are... Yeah, oh, yeah. Let Baseball me just caps. show you real yeah, quick, because sure. it's here, you know? Uh... I don't know if y'all are like mesh mesh cap fans, but uh, but we have like a, a mesh cap, you know, with the logo on yeah. it and shit. If you're into that kind of thing, I don't know. We got some stuff yeah. if you're interested, but we got we got some cool stuff coming up. 
Um, we are going to do a, a a special winner drop for uh, a new uh, oh yeah a yeah, new yeah. beanie that we were talking about. But uh, we're also getting a, a website upgrade, a store upgrade. There's all kinds of. That's why we haven't pushed it crazy yeah. at the end of this year. But uh, this stuff is up if you want to go buy it. Yeah. It's it's up to you. But movie, uh, moviedumpsterpodcast.com. Moviedumpsterpodcast. Click on the store button. It's all there. Yeah, we're we haven't been pushing it hard, but it's there if you want it. You that know? Goro's got nards. Yeah, Goro's got nards. Uh. I don't know. You want to you want to maybe start talking about some stuff for next year? What do you think? Yeah. Um. Unless you got something else in pocket that you were holding on to. No. Nah, I, I mean, we, we had so many great guests on this year, too. Oh, yeah. So I, just I, I have a physical list and so we don't yeah, forget somebody because I, I, I always feel bad after the fact when I listen back and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, we're not going to we're not going to go through the fucking episodes or anything like that. But yeah, let's, let, I do, let's I, get our guests. I do, do want to say uh, thanks to all of these people. Um, I mean, one of these people actually directed a film. <laughs> might be a little bit more important. No offense to anybody Two else. On the, well, oh, yeah, that's true. They're actually. also out of order. And I'm so kidding. I'm fucking kidding. They're also out of order, so it doesn't matter. No, it, but we had... Um, you want to just go? I, I mean, you wanted to start off real quick before we get into go ahead. Our, our, our friend guests, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we had that interview with Ted Bowes, which yeah. was like kind of crazy. I know we had, we had we had more interviews last year. So it should have sunk in by now, which is nuts. But it hasn't, and and he was like kind of local, so there was like a weird kind of local connection with him. Well, yeah, he was local, and my buddy uh, Evan hooked us up, or the director of just to clarify, uh, the Deadly Swarm, (laughs) the Deadly Spawn, Spawn. Holy, excuse me, excuse me, that's a different movie altogether. Uh, The Return of the Alien with Michael Caine, actually, (laughs) the Deadly Swarm. Yeah, yeah. it is, it is. is. I shot a mosquito the size Size of of a a tangerine. Oh, yeah, well, Peach, obviously. (laughs) But he was really cool. It was funny, though. Uh, you obviously didn't see this in the interview, but uh, the way that oh. our recording set up, you know, up until yeah. now, yeah. uh, was pretty much we would film in a, in a spare room, usually in a closet or something that had good dampening uh, for sound. Oh, yeah. Th- yeah. Well, that's no secret. Yeah. I mean, we've talked we've joked about it on the show. Yeah. But just in case you don't know, we call uh, it the studio, the studio but it's closet. the closet, yeah, with the yeah. studio closet. But Ted, he was on video and he had like his margarita or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, I can't fucking... see anybody on camera. I turn the camera on and my fucking computer's like at my foot. Yeah, I'm like yeah, in yeah, my yeah. closet with a fuck with my computer on my fucking underwear uh, drawer <laughs> with my microphone. Like, hey, Ted uh, Bowis. High tech operation. Here. Yeah. But, tech, uh, yeah. Shout out to Ted Bowis. Uh, what I awesome... would have loved to have seen that sequel if you ever got the damn chance. What a to fucking make it. awesome dude. And like, I'm so excited to get back to the conventions this yes, year. Yes, yes. Um, we got to get Clint Howard on in some capacity. I want to get Clint Howard on. He but... keeps liking our Instagram post, that's so that's a positive sign. Yeah, but um, uh, Ted is always at Chiller Theater, oh, and okay. he, he does like a, um, uh, what is it? He has like a cigar club there. So I'm very excited to go and bring some nice cigars for him and hang out and uh, have a fucking martini or whatever. Um, and just bullshit with him because he's a su- super nice dude oh, he and, cool. and he he fucking loves like Ray Harryhausen and uh, you know all the all the classic like Atomic Age flicks and and stop motion stuff and monsters and stuff and uh, oh he does uh, um his books I forgot what they were called oh yeah yeah but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, he yeah. go look up Ted Boas uh monster books I I want to shoot myself because I forgot the name <laughs> but um it's all he's been collecting uh all of these uh pictures behind the scenes pictures of all kinds of old uh flicks uh hard to find stuff like people applying makeup doing effects or or just like candid photos really really cool stuff go check it out um but yeah i guess yeah didn't want to forget ted no ted uh, ted ted's ted's the man now i i, I don't want to like rapid fire these by any stretch but uh, i'm no. just going to kind of go down the list and yeah, who we got first? We uh, again, this isn't in specific order. It, in some order. of it might be, some not. And I, who cares? Yeah. Uh, first off, I got Hunter Davenport, our our first patron, by the yeah. way, and a longtime friend from yeah. the Phantom Zone podcast. Uh, thank you, Hunter, for coming on for Double Dragon. Oh, we had a fu- uh, at, we had at a fucking pit- midnight, by the way. I uh, think that so you know, folks. <laughs> I think that was the episode where that guy was playing the fucking casino game. And I got the drink that I just told the story oh for. Oh my god, that that kind of lines up. I think that, that was the. There name. was some wacky circumstance where like he had to work late, and then yeah. you or myself had something got hung up at the last minute, and he was like, oh, "I'm fine, I'm good, it, yeah. I'm awake." We're like, "Okay, you I don't want to do it tomorrow. Let's fucking bang this baby we, out." We shut that down and recorded at fucking twelve o'clock at night and till like two. 
banger ass episode, I gotta say. And um Especially for a midnight man, fucking shoot job. That one was so <laughs> that one's so fucking fun. We got so much good shit out of that. And Koga, I was fucking Kogashuko for Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Alyssa Milano's ass lives mm. on to this day. So thanks, Karen. Uh, I, I started reading the name of the next person. <laughs> Hunter. Thanks, Hunter. Hunter. We'll have you Gavin back Port. on soon. Yeah, we will. Uh, but yes, this man uh, next up, Kieran from Cinemassacre. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what a cool guy. He's very, very he, nice he man. He loved Street Fighter the movie. Yeah. Uh, he. Uh, I talked to him again recently because I do work with him and Tony. Uh, I said, you know, if, if Tony doesn't want to pull the trigger on that, you know, uh, Chun-Li movie. Oh, the movie. Chun-Li movie, yeah. Because he mentions it, and if you've heard that episode at the end, he's like, hey, if you guys ever uh, do, do the Chun-Li movie, what the fuck is it actually called? I keep saying the uh, The Legend of Chun-Li. Legend of Chun-Li. He's yeah. like, you got to have me back on. So yeah. if if he doesn't do it for Hack the Movies, because he's, he's kind of taken over over yeah. there with those Spider-Man <laughs> reviews, he's kind of, his star has risen again. Aunt May. Yeah, Aunt May is, uh, you know, yeah. look, look up those reviews uh, <laughs> or, or read between the lines. Aunt May's having a good time, though, over on those Hack the Movie Spider-Man uh, reviews. She sure is. Karen. Uh, but yeah, got, love to have him back on. Uh, he, he, the man can quote Street Fighter the movie, and that, we're not talking like some of the more famous lines here. He's everything, he's like the Jesus, I love Jesus style kind of lines. And yeah, only yeah, like yeah. the hardcore, hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he tells the whole story on that episode. Yes. So, so go check, yes. go check that out. The Street Fighter, uh, the movie, ep- the episode <laughs> for the, the for, episode, yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. Super Combat Fighter Double Dumpster Edition Turbo. Yes, yes, which. We might bring back, maybe not with the same name, but in some capacity. We got to kind of see how this year starts shaking out. We, it'll, we have plans. It'll but. be a different name and theme, but we what what I want to do, we can't let that go to waste. We we gave away uh, Genesis cartridges yes. oh my God. that month um, with, with the full... Hold on, I got to grab this fucking thing. <laughs> it does look amazing. I don't even know, but if it, we, I, I guess specifically, um, I don't even know if we showed it off when we did it. I, but um, we might have once. It's a it's a fucking legit Genesis case, yeah, with a Genesis cartridge, uh, and sticker like for the for the mock game. And yeah, I put the the um the chip in there, like the actual like you could put a game. It's a blank cartridge, so you technically could do that. If there's any programmers out there, game makers, I would love to see a movie dumpster uh, video game fighter. I would. I don't know the legal uh, the, 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 the situation with that. Maybe you got to name all the characters slightly different lettering. Char- Charnetsky. Uh, well, fair. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Charnetsky. Think, uh, yeah, and, and fair, do- fair. And it's not. It's not Dobby. It's Doby. That's what I'm saying, oh, right? D O B E Y. Well, yeah. what you do is you have like the wizards. I, they could be an individual character, but I feel like they'd be work better as like a Ginyu Force and like Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, they could. Where it's like you know they come out, they're like switching back and forth. They like Dobby's the assist. He comes out and like every once in a while Haggerty just blo- uh, I don't know. It, it could. I have ideas. I've thought about this. Hadouken. It would have to be a fighting game. Yeah, that way. Uh, artwork by David the Scaredy Cat to form, yes. by the way. Uh, speaking of, he was a guest on one of our episodes. He this sure year. was, yeah. Uh, we try to get Davey on at least once a year, so we had to bring him on for fucking Roger Corman's Fantastic Four, and uh, he he is a fan of that film, and I don't mind that film. I know Connor; he can't speak for himself, but if you heard that episode, he was not crazy about it. Uh, you know, um, I think it was more fun having Davey on more I, than it anything. It was just it was just fun to talk about. I I think. The, the the allure of that episode is talking about Roger Corman's Fantastic Four. Yes. Right? That's like like the that, history behind the, it. The history behind it. And it's just a it's a weird it's a weird B movie. And it's one of those things where like I wish that like the Canon Spider Man movie got made too. <laughs> that would have been something. Or that would they made they somehow made two unreleased Captain America movies. Yeah, but you one can, was and one wasn't or yeah, some bullshit. One was one you can get. I don't know about the other one, but maybe we could maybe we can tackle that. <laughs> This year, uh, we'll maybe. see. Maybe. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm necessarily advocating for that. I, yeah. I could think of several other superhero-themed films that we could get Davey on for, yeah. for that. But Oh, uh, totally. We love having him on. We love but getting yeah. some art done by him. We, so, yeah, uh, we, we still have that book idea kicking around we've talked about in the past. Eventually. It's coming, you know? Little uh, by little. We can only do so much, you know, at a time. Yes. And I'll leave that at that for those yeah. that know. Who else we got kicking? Uh, we got Tony from Hack the Movies. We, oh, we talked about his ass Fucking, enough. Fucking, we plugged him enough. Yeah. He'll be no, back, no, t- he'll be back <laughs> soon, believe it or not. <laughs> Tony, Tony's a great, great uh, guest and a good friend, and uh, yeah. we always like making content with him. It's fun. Yeah, like I said, he'll be back soon. He will be we back. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, Justin from Epic Film Guys. Yeah, he Justin Esquivel. Yeah, he, uh, 
I was so excited because we uh we told this we tell this story on the Call of Us episode, but uh, I got to meet Justin in person at the uh, Mahoning Drive-in uh that last year uh for the uh, the Critter Fest, the Kyoto. Oh, yeah, and I, I, I got to meet the fucking Kyoto brothers, and I got to hang out with Justin uh, Esquivel and um Brady Cloven, and it was had a really good time. And my buddy Dan Diana was there. Uh, had a really really good time and uh and my and my buddy Evan was there too. Yeah. Evan came with us. And then uh you returned the favor. We had Justin on. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we, then you went over to his show. Yeah, I was on uh, uh, Justin was on for Colobos, uh which was is a great movie. You should go check it out and listen. Meatloaf's in it. Listen to the episode. There's a lot of meatloaf jokes. Um <laughs> He'll do anything, but he won't do that. <laughs> but he won't do that. No. Whatever that is, but he won't do it. <laughs> he won't uh, follow John Kramer's plan. Anyway, no. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I was over on uh, Epic Film Guys um, and we did The Prowler. Yeah. Love that flick. Um, so I did I did an episode with them. I had a really good time. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Moorhead and uh, uh, Justin Esquivel over at Epic Film Guys. Uh, go check them out. Go like, subscribe do all that good stuff that you do for us um, because they're a great podcast. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of another great podcast. Jesse from Say You Love Satan. Oh my goodness, that was such a good fucking time. Yes, oh my god, the uh, the Kindred, which uh, I was talking, uh, quick quick side detour on that, uh, Anthony Jr., because I was talking to Joe about this earlier, for some reason this year, like, we, the MDU never went away. No. But I feel like it took a, a little bit more of a backseat this season, because we had a lot more guests, so like, I, 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 at least me personally, I tend to like roll it back a little bit. We don't like to alienate the guests because yeah, they don't yeah, know what the yeah. fuck we're talking about. They're kind of like, Ugh. <laughs> but with the kindred, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, there's a few other like, you know, the changelings, another one that comes to mind that like there wasn't a character, but there was a concept that came out of that. That was pretty great. But we still, but, but the do. kindred had a couple yeah. bangers. Like yeah. if you heard that episode, like Anthony Jr. I brought up a couple. Well, we both brought him up a couple of times yeah. after the fact. He's like that the malformed alien looking fucking thing in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> And the hemocyanin. If you heard that episode, hemocyanin. Hemocyanin. Yeah, they just keep saying hemocyanin over and over again on these fucking tapes. Uh, I mean, that's the thing with this show to some extent. Like, I, and then we'll go back to the actual guest, which was the point. yeah, sure. sure. Uh, uh, is that like we realize that maybe some of these jokes might be going over some heads, but we're trying to, you know, you may have noticed over the last year, year and a half, that we've been trying to maybe. Those jokes aren't going away. Don't get me fucking no, wrong. No, no, no. But we're trying to just maybe peel them back a little bit. Well, we we may it, we, we we were talking about possibly maybe once we go into video, we, we may explain some of these jokes yes. to, to newer listeners. But for now, it's it's still kind of that 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 dumpster fucking shake. It, it, <laughs> it's always it's always been a plan to to connect the episodes yes. and, and a sort of appendix. Where you can be like, what are they talking about? At 3450, uh, they're talking about Dobby fucking, uh, uh, you know. A cake or something. A cake. I don't know. Uh, and sure, it happened on And an then episode. you can click it, and then it'll say what other episodes Dobby's in, right? right? right something right. like that. In theory. Um, and then that ties back to the to the book with, with Davey. Yes. Uh, about the MDU denizens. Um, but anyway, yeah, well, anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Say you love Satan. Yeah. Jesse, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Somebody asked if we're doing these in the store. Um, I only have a couple of these left, but maybe we'll do a limited run and maybe we'll we'll throw them up there or do another giveaway. Cool. So, um, and I'm talking about the Super Combat Fighter Double Dumpster Edition Turbo uh, cartridges and Genesis uh, yes. uh, cases. Um, yeah, uh, Jesse was such a great guest and we had a fucking blast talking to him. Uh, we, we got to hung hang out with... Uh, uh, Jesse and, and Benny and Steph at uh, VHS oh, Fest yeah, yeah. this year. Jesus, that, that was this year. Oh, yeah, wow. that's what I'm saying uh, over at the oh. Mahoning. So that was a really good time. Um, and we hung out with Tony and the and that crew. Yep. Tony, 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 Tony. <laughs> you um, sick of hearing about him yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, he never gets sick of hearing about. No, him. but uh, but we had a we had a great time. We got to hang out with them in like a real. You know, that was the first time we got to meet them like in person. So that was cool. Oh, yeah. Um, and we're going to be doing more stuff with them this year too. And Epic film guys, uh, say you love Satan for oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, we, we got a couple more names here. I want to yeah. mention, uh, Mr. Lobo. Oh, the that very, was, yes. The, the actually famous Mr. Lobo. Yes. The, the famous horror host, Mr. Lobo uh, from cinema insomnia. Yes. Who, uh, if you, if you haven't been following, he uh, recently got his, uh, new studio space to start uh, cranking out some, uh, some hosting gigs again. It seems I want to just congratulate. OSI 74 and Cinema Insomnia and Mr. Lobo and that whole crew. Yes. And Dixie. 
uh, and Aaron, and they have been putting in a uh, crazy amount of work. They work really hard on the show and they make it special for everybody that watches. And, and the fans had made it possible for them to, yes. um, you know, evolve. Right. So now they have a studio space. So they're going to bring, be bringing you like amazing content. So yes. definitely go over and uh, subscribe to them on YouTube. Go like them on Facebook. There's a, there's a Cinema Insomnia uh, Facebook group. Go check them out. Go be a part of that. It's a great community, great culture, and uh, it's a ton of fun. And um, I'm so happy for them. And they, they really deserve it. So that's awesome. We we definitely plan to get Mr. Lobo back on the show. Oh, yeah. We, 100%. We even have some ideas. And he will he will be here. Yes. He will yes. be. We, we, you will see him. He will, he will come out of uh, the, the, the sixth dimension into the into the uh, video dungeon. Well, I'll have to ask him if he could bring Miss Mittens or not, or if that's like a, a safety hazard or not. I don't know, uh, I don't, dude. I don't, I don't know the logistics on plants. I don't know. We've got to bring our uh, our our repellent. So it doesn't attack. So, so okay, she doesn't okay, attack okay. us. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh this next person is in the chat right now. Serge Mario for our <laughs> Terror Vision episode. Yes. Uh came in, even with his band Lethian. Yeah. With that fucking hungry beast uh uh kind of crossover Terror Vision movie dumpster theme song. Totally knocked our fucking socks off. I remember Serge was like, hey dude, we're working on this your uh, theme song for television and, and yeah. your theme. And we're like, Oh shit. Okay. He sends it over and we fucking, we put it on and I was like, oh, my fucking jaw dropped. Yes. Cause it was just like incredible. And then he's like, awesome. Oh, I'm going to add lyrics. So it's not done yet. Yeah, He's like, Oh, way. it's not done. There's going to be lyrics. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so he finished it up and he actually just put together a video. Um, and, uh, he synced the oh, podcast God, with funny. some of the clips yes. from the movie and made like a little video for us for that terror vision episode. You go check it out on yes. uh, on Instagram. I'm not sure. I think it might be on Facebook too. Yes. But the the leading Instagram and um of course Serge's Instagram. I don't want to give that out. And if he wants to give it out, he could put it in the, in chat. the chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and definitely, Serge. Uh, I know you're in the chat. If you can let people know if that song is available on your band's page, I'm not sure. But if they haven't heard it. It's definitely on the episode. If you want to go listen to the Terror Vision episode, we play it in the beginning and the end. Yeah, it's it's really cool. And um, we need to get some more. I mean, you don't have to tell them now, Serge, but I want to get some more details. And when that's like, I, I think the track is available now. But if it's if it's not and it's be going to become available, let us know and we'll promote it. Yes. And we'll do all that good stuff together. And uh, Serge just said it was a it was a 50 50 uh, with um, our music, uh, Lydian's music our, and uh, and our music. Oh, OK. Yeah. Our Protector 101 score. Yeah. Yes. Um, we also great shit. We also had John Campapiano. Yeah, John Campapiano made a new friend. Yeah, he came. Yeah, he. Uh, oh, what was it? I for think Snapper. Yeah. Well, that's what he came on for. Yeah, his we, documentary. Yeah, we connected. Um, on our mutual love of Step Monster on Instagram. Um, and I think I think I think we might have connected through uh, CJ Duke because CJ had I think commissioned a, uh, a Super Nintendo cartridge or um, oh, okay. packaging of a Step Monster video game that uh, John had commissioned from him or just bought from him. Uh, but um, yeah, he was he was great, and we we got to talking, and he was telling uh, us about uh, the Snapper movie that never got made by the same guys who made uh, the Killer Refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, oh, I'm making a documentary. I was like, we we're like, holy shit. And he's like, yeah, I'll send it to you. Here's the thing. So, you know, we watched it and we were like, oh, we got to have you on for an episode. So we did a ripe review of his documentary Snapper, which was also an interview with John. So we had a we had a great time with him and uh, we became good friends. And uh, we're definitely going to be having him back on the show this year to talk about <laughs> the Munchie sequel, Munchie Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah. So uh, gear the fuck up for that. That's going to be uh, a really good time. I don't know when, but it is don't know absolutely when, happening. But it is absolutely yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And make sure to go check out John's work, too. Yes. He, um, He's got a couple more documentaries coming out. Yeah, uh, our buddy uh, Josh Schaefer, who runs um, Lunch Meat VHS, just dropped... Uh, I think they're on their second run now, but they just did a release of the Snapper documentary on VHS. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're sold out already. They sold out. They sell out pretty quick. But if you can get your hands on one, go get one. LunchMeetVHS.com. Um, and yeah, good shit. Cool. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Serge dropped uh, his link tree. Boom. In the chat. There it is. Yeah, right over there. to Linktree <laughs> slash Lethian Band yeah. if you want to hear that song. And uh, follow them, please. Yeah. 
And uh, if, on, on all your favorite social media platforms. If, as, let me just and, look my, and give them a download. And don't make sure you buy their album. Uh, and then just, uh, you know. I know we started a little late, but it's getting a little late. But uh, I also just want to give a shout out to Chris Barr and Chris oh, yeah. Smith, who uh, are kind of like... Uh, you know they're they're official members of the team. Yeah, well, Chris, uh, and Chris they, Barr they kind is... of uh, come in and and Chris Chris Barr jumped on the team this year. Yeah, and Smith kind of uh, you know we we did a few more books to the movies. Mm-hmm. We had him on Bad Moon. Yep. Uh, he he's uh, spreading his roots. Yes, throughout. yes, uh, the yes. two of them are. Uh, Chris, Chris Barr has been a good friend of mine for a long time. Um, and it, it's been awesome being able to bring him in uh, in on this and talk. Uh, you know all of our favorite anthology stuff so that's that's like a another dimension that are really like exploring um with him uh on the show with yes. you yes and chris and chris smith or cb smith rather um has has been awesome uh doing his book to the movie stuff with yeah. us and um go check out his channel oh oh that's right go check out cb smith taking a page on youtube like subscribe to all that stuff and uh chris barr has a page on instagram called tape underscore hell go check that out follow them he does uh soundtrack worship uh for that yes. if you if you listen to the tales from the dark side episodes we, we we've talked about it on there but yeah go give him a follow chris also uh, chris Barr also does uh, really excellent photography stuff uh yeah. go, surrealistic uh photography horror type stuff uh folky kind of horror stuff it's really fucking cool go check it out for sure gothic i would say you yeah think, uh, yeah gothic? gothic uh yeah yeah it's cool yeah uh, and i think those all the people I wanted to met, that's what I wrote down at least. Uh, if <laughs> I, I forgot think that you, was all I'm the sorry. Guests. I'm really sorry if I forgot you. Uh, yeah, we've Josh, talk, Josh. We've talked to plenty of other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Josh Lunchmeat came on for Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, jo- Josh Schaefer from Lunchmeat VHS yeah. came on for Mother's Day. That was a great one. Uh, talk, shooting the shit about that one. Um, definitely are going to work w- with Josh on something this year. We're not sure exactly what it is yet, but um, definitely something good. We got a lot of good shit coming up. Uh, but I guess I guess with that being said, yeah, why don't we um, talk about a little bit about what's coming for 2022? Sure. So this is kind of like our main show for January. Uh, if, if you've been following us, we usually don't really put any new content out in January. Maybe no, mostly just a live show. Yeah, we we are gonna be on. Uh, so it's okay that it's extra long. Yes, yes, <laughs> uh, because we're not coming back till February. We are gonna be on Hack the Movies, but I, maybe we should lead into that because it's connected to something that's happening at the later of our first month. Okay, okay. So if you all just join the chat, I want to reiterate again that. If you're watching us on video, I know the audio version, you're not going to be able to see anything. But um, if you notice, it's a totally different angle. Uh, We're playing around with different uh, stuff and lights and things like that because we are reformatting the video dungeon for our video excursion. Right. So um, we're going to be doing that and kind of get a glimpse into that right here. Like all this is going to change and it's going to be really fun for us. And we're experimenting with that. Um, and then, uh, what, were, what did I want to go into after that? What were you just talking about? I was just talking about, geez, man, brain fart there. <laughs> it's okay. I was going to hit 34, really 34 <laughs> a couple of weeks is what happens. I, what the fuck does that mean? I'm I, 34. I don't know. I don't know what it means, but that's where my brain's going right now. Um, Jesus Christ. But yeah, so we're, so, we're, but, but we're work, we're working hard this month yes. to put it all together down here because we're going to be starting to record um the episodes for this year and especially for february um next weekend is is our projected yeah. date to start cracking into this um and again because uh, th- i think somebody even had asked earlier and i apologize because it was a little bit further up in the chat uh like how far ahead we're going to record it may vary but I, our plan is and again this is we're not trying to get too heavy duty in the back you know behind the scenes here but like you know Probably like a month, maybe two, depending on like this. We, we may talk about it. I'd say a month, maybe what? ahead of time. What? Like filming ahead of time. It, it, this would be stuff we would probably post on Patreon and let you guys know ahead of time. Oh, yeah. But generally speaking, yeah. like, it's not well, stuff that's what we I, would talk about a ton, I feel like. Well, I'm just going to roll into that because it's a new, it's a new exciting thing that there, yeah. everybody's coming on the journey with us. You know what I mean? True, and true. so we want to kind of let you guys be a part of the experience of of us evolving you yeah. know what i mean so you're going to see some behind the scenes stuff soon and all that but uh to Sean's point about um 
being able to know when stuff's coming out, yeah. that's the beauty of what we're going to be doing because now we're going to start taking our weekends and shooting three, four, five episodes over a weekend and then we'll have a whole clip of stuff and then we'll have uh, accurate release dates for everything. Right. Um, and be able to promote each one properly and, well, and, and, and efficiently. And, and that's the thing too. I mean, I... I Again, I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but if you've been following us, you know, we, yeah. we do promote the episodes as they're coming out. But uh, I, I feel like we're definitely going to be more uh, laser focused on that. Sure. Uh, we're we still don't know the semantics of it, like whether that's going to be a graphic or a video or what maybe it'll there. Like, we don't know the semantics. Yeah, we're, we're just but we're going to be, you know, really we, we're going to know exactly when. what we've known before. Don't get me wrong, but now, oh, it's yeah. going to be a little bit more calculating than going into the season with video, right. with the premieres, because we're going to be doing the, you know. Premiere the video, which if you don't know how that works on YouTube specifically, uh, what what it is essentially is it'll have like uh, you go to our YouTube channel, it'll say this is when the video is coming out. You come at the time it comes out. Yep. Once it airs all right. the way through, watch it whenever the hell you want. So the way that's, it, that's when we say premiere. That's right. So, so what it, how a premiere works and and how we'll let you know is we'll put it on uh, the, the socials. And mm -hmm. what you do is like Sean said, head over to YouTube and then you can set a reminder yeah. for it. And It'll tell you the date and time and there'll be a little preview and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you can set a reminder for it. So um, if you forget, it'll be like, hey, Movie Dumpster's premiering tonight, yeah. you know, so so and, and watch it and, or. Yeah. And there is a live chat much like this. Now, obviously, it's a little yes. bit different. It, it'll be similar to like if you, if you haven't been in one before. Yeah. Uh, you know. I was going to say, if you haven't been on one before, I was going to reference the Patreon. But basically, it's, you know, yeah. if it was a pre-recorded video, but you had somebody in the chat talking to you that's in the video. It'll. Uh, yeah, and it'll again, be not to keep referencing yeah. our friend from Hack the Movies, but he does this also where well, a lot of people do it. True. Yeah, but um, you'll be able to watch. You will. Okay, so it'll be pre-recorded the whole episode, and it'll go live yes, on yes, YouTube. There you go. And then there'll be a chat, just like there is now, and we will be in the chat talking to you live. But the video will not be live, and you cannot interact directly yes, with us right, in exactly. the video. There you go. Yeah, you said the thing I tried to say, it's but I said no poorly. problem. Um, and I, I don't know. Yeah, you, do we want to talk about like what the general? Yeah, is? well, yeah, we and we can talk. I I, I want to talk about what we've already figured out and yeah, what's well, kind yeah, of set sure, in sure. stone. And uh, makes sense we can give you a preview and something to chew on too. Because uh, so for February, we got we got a pretty good lineup going. Um, so we're we're coming right out of the gate. Uh, we're, our premiere is what the fourth, right? That's the plan. I mean, you the said it. Now it now it's happening. That's no. That's. <laughs> That's the fucking. Yes, no, it is. I'm, I'm no, no, I'm, no. I'm kidding, that's I'm it. Kidding. That's the hard date yeah, yeah, that we had. The fourth. So the uh, so the it, fourth it's in a few weeks. We come back February fourth. Yes. Uh, with Scream, Blackula, Scream, the sequel to Blackula, which we did last year. I am um, hyped. We got some good stuff coming up yeah, in February. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to just can we we can just do the whole uh, slate? Yeah, fuck? yeah. I mean, if we forget something, then only we will know. So. Only we will know. Um, <laughs> uh, I got a pretty good handle on it, but uh, uh, we got just, Scream. Just, Real quick. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Sean Kelly, will there still be live videos like this? Yes. yes. Every at, at the end of every month, we will always do a live wrap up like this and come hang out and talk to you guys all, all at, forever yes. <laughs> until the show stops. Yeah. Until other, we say otherwise. <laughs> until the end of time. No. But yeah. Well, uh, what else? What else we got coming? So we, have uh, that. So we got. So we're kicking it off with Scream, Black Hill Scream. And then we got My Demon Lover. Yes. Oh my God. It's coming this up. Looks I'm very excited to tackle this. We've talked about this, uh, I think off off air and on air, um, a lot or a decent amount. Maybe not a lot. According to Sean, he always tells me he's like, I don't know what you're talking uh, yeah, about. Yeah, I don't know. Now, but, now it's now I'm keyed it. Now I'm keyed into it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. Typically in the past when you've brought it up, I'm just like, oh, another, it's, another weird movie Joe's mentioning. <laughs> Actually, it's it's literally right there. He's not getting it. Yeah. Is right there. Um, but but uh, so we're doing My Demon Lover um, and then we are doing. Texas, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation, and we're going to be doing that with Tony from Hack the Movies. Yes. <laughs> so that is why that, we've that been is the Matthew McConaughey one for those that don't know with <laughs> with Renee Zellweger, the Renee and, Zellweger, and Matthew McConaughey uh, classic. Um, we picked that one for the reasons that we always pick those kinds of sequels, and that's to talk about the weirdest fucking one and then talk about the series as in a whole. Yeah, episode. yeah. And you know, we were talking about we've been watching Texas Chainsaw. Maybe that's the one that's making me be 
Revis about it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, Joe. I don't Maybe, know. In fact, <laughs> I'll see. I'll leave it at that because we haven't even shot the episode we're, yet. We're, we'll leave it at that, and we will update you on what yes, else is yes. happening outside of the dumpster. Because that does lead into a, a one of those side detours that yes. back to hack the movies. Yes, probably for the last time for the rest of this call, at least in, theory, in theory. Yes, in uh, theory, is that we are also going to be on his show, and he hasn't technically announced this yet. But you're here. We're here. Well, why don't we? Why don't we? All right, well, it has to do with that. It has it has to do it has to do with a face made of leather and a sure, chainsaw. Sure. Um sure. But let let's that you know Fair enough. We'll let's talk we'll that. talk about our show we could talk yes, about. No, you're but right. but um but yeah, so not only are we doing um Next oh, Gen yeah, yeah, Next yeah. Gen, which is four, we're also doing a commentary track that month for Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre three. Um so that should be a fun one, and um, that's the Vigo also, Mortensen one. Yeah, the Vigo Mortensen. That's and, how you differentiate and, him. And, and, Ken, and Ken Forey too. Oh God! And and William Butler's in there too. Come on, big boy! Uh, yeah, he's coming. All right, Ken Forey with a fucking M16 walking around the woods. Okay, get ready. Or an AR. I don't even know what the hell. Get that ready was. for fucking Matthew McConaughey insanity on I, that Next Generation episode. We got to bring him back. I mean, I, I know. You got to think about those MDU complications. Yeah. Sometimes, every once in a while, they come into effect on the choice. Uh, totally. And then for Patreon, what do we got cooking that month? We have the 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 oh, watch I'm about that. Yeah, the watch along for for Patreon uh, for February is going to be Blackenstein. <laughs> I'm so ready for this movie. Yeah. I don't even know what it is, but it, the name alone. It's uh, it's a movie, yeah, I'm for sure. Excited. Uh, and then we have that commentary track, I believe. Uh, I just said. The oh, you did. Okay, yeah. there you go. That we were just talking. I know. About I'm it. like going down the the ra- in my head. <laughs> I have like a bolted list that's not in line with the <laughs> list you're actually saying. We might have a. Oh, you're looking at it in, in your mind. In my eye? mind, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have a mini zone on there. Look in the look on that list in your uh, mind. Sh- eye. I will look on the actual list. Oh, I think uh, we talked about a mini zone, but we we weren't sure if we were going to pull the trigger. We on it may have talked February. about it. In a, without looking at the, the or we list. could leave that as a surprise if you'd like. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we we maybe. do have one other thing that we're putting out in February that we are in close talks with uh, the other person. I guess. I'll... Oh yes. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if I had to break the phone yeah. out again. Holy shit! How did I could I forget that? There's a special Valentine's Day. Uh, Special something or other coming. Um, we'll we'll have more details on you with that. Okay, fair um, enough. So, but there is something coming. There is something coming. Yes. Uh, I can, can we talk? Yeah, oh, fuck I, it. I mean, he's fucking actually doing it, right? Yeah, he's already yeah. posted about it. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Oh that. no, he texted that to us. He texted that to us. Oh, 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 okay. I guess we could just talk about it. Well, we've talked about it. Either sure. way, this is a big hot scene. No, but either way, it's happening. Like, okay, so CB Smith's joining us for book to the movie for fucking Valentine. The 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 David Boreanaz, uh, Denise Richards shit movie that we talked about uh, last year or two years ago. I again the the, the timeline's been broken by COVID. I think it's, it's two it's, years. Yeah, I don't know anymore. No, because we did Pumpkinhead two. It's been it was two years. We did Pumpkinhead okay. two then Valentine. Yes, so it'll be book yes. to the movie. Uh, the Paul Savage uh, book Valentine in which. The movie Valentine was based off of. We're going to be covering that with CB Smith. He will be here in the flesh, as we have said for everybody else as well. Um, it's going to be a great time, and that's our Valentine's Day uh, episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think for February. I mean, unless there's some of those uh, those those lingering dingleberries, let's call them, that we're forgetting about. There may be. There may be like <laughs> there, again, like that. Let's mini- make it gross. Right? Like that mini soda. I'm not entirely sure of. Because um, we've also talked about stuff that we haven't written down. We're like, oh, we should do that thing. And then yeah. we're like, yeah, we should do that thing. Yeah, because we've already changed March twice. <laughs> so, this is what happens. I yeah. mean, anyone that does any kind of creative feel, especially when it's involving like a yeah. subject matter, it's like, all right, yeah, I want to do this and this. And then you're like, you think about it for like a week and you're like, ah, okay, I still want to do this, this and this, but then, you know, you move shit around. There, it, it, happen- it happens every year. And really, like, you guys don't see this, but like behind the scenes, we're constantly like, okay, so what makes sense? Like, does this movie make sense with this movie? And is, is this a good set of stuff to, right. to, to kind of, to kind of, uh, like, does it all jive together in a, in a, in a, in a good way? Or like, does it make sense with shit that's coming out? That's relative to that? Because we have, you True. know, we think about all of these different things. Of course, at the top of the list is what's fun and what we'll enjoy and what you'll enjoy. But there is there is a lot of planning that goes into it, but uh, Feb- February's fucking locked in. Yes. Um. So. Uh, so yeah. 
we will uh we will film it and report we back. will film it and report back and again uh, we, you'll probably get some bts video on over on patreon if you're a patron uh we'll probably post a few pics uh when we start filming and stuff of course yeah. um and then beyond that you know the live shows are the best place to kind of find out about yeah, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, we 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 uh, do these every month to come hang out with you and and shoot the shit and tell you what's coming up and uh, check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing, and um and, and enjoy yourself some as Serge puts it in the chat, dumps delicious uh, dingleberries. Yeah, obviously, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that word to take off. Not dingleberries. <laughs> don't, don't. I think it, it took off for a couple hundred years at this point. So, but <laughs> dumpster delicious, we're working on it. Hashtag dumpster delicious. There you go. There it is. Use it. Um. So yeah, we know it's getting late. It's almost ten thirty. So uh, let I, we're gonna Do have you know fucking, your children. We're are. gonna punch that fucking card right now. But um, thanks so much for coming and hang out with yes. us and chat with us. Uh, you really are the best. I want to end this, um, on a real talk, personal thing. Um, we are people, just like you. And if you message us mm. or reach out to us, please please give us a chance to get back to you. And sometimes it may not be for days or weeks just because we're busy and we have our own lives going on, right? So it's not because we're ignoring you or we don't want to talk to you or or we're just blowing you off. It's just because other things are happening and we will get to you eventually. And... um. We do care about you. We care about all of you and we really appreciate all of you and we love all of you. And again, we wouldn't have the show if it wasn't for you guys. And a lot of you have been super great friends to us uh, in real life and behind the scenes and off off air um, and on air, of course. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Just remember that. We are we are personalities and, and talent if you if you even want to fucking call us that. But, uh, you know, we are people too. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's all I got to say about that. I agree. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, with that being said, um, I want to say, or we want to say thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. Thanks for coming out and hanging out. And we got some fucking awesome shit going on this fucking year. We cannot wait to give it to you. Um, we're going to be, you can see us going fucking nuts in video, man. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, so we're very excited. Uh, get, get, you know, stay tuned for fucking skits. Stay tuned for fucking, uh, I already got some rocking around. Oh my, my God. Stay tuned for my noggin. Stay tuned for all the good stuff because we're very excited and we're, we're psyched that you're coming along for the ride. And, uh, and yeah. And, um, yet yeah, we will see you in February. We'll see you a little bit before February yeah, yeah, just yeah. to, you know, the goings on or what have you. Uh, we'll do another live show at the end of February. Um, but uh, but yeah, the new stuff's coming uh, February 4th. Stay tuned and uh, we will catch you. We'll catch you uh, in the dumpster. Yeah. Or Swimming. We'll be looking at you from the dumpster. That's fucking weird. But uh, everybody have a great night. It's been awesome hanging out and uh, and thanks for the support. And we'll, we'll catch you later. <laughs> We're streaming again. We forgot to do the fucking drawing. Y'all still there? Oh God. I got up and everything. Y'all still there? <laughs> All right. We joked about it at we- the end of the show and we forgot to actually do it. Sorry. I'm like, all right, I gotta get in my car and drive home. We're we, hit the oh day. my god, I, we, we we apologize so much. Look, we're, we're sorry. We're, we yeah, we're trying to wrap up and get get out of here. We totally forgot about the fucking drawing, the 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 trashing through the snow drawing. Okay, here it comes. Without further delay, you get the fucking, what do we got? We You get the Turbo Man doll. You get the Turbo Man doll with the Rock'em Zack'em jetpack. He's there. You get the two turtle doves from Mr. Duncan. Um, the Elves. Uh, the Elves LP from TerraVision Records. Um, uh, the Jack Frost 2 Revenge of the Mutant Killer Snowman Blu-ray with the commentary track from Hack the Movies from uh, uh, MVD? MVD Rewind. Yes. Um. You get a stock and stuffer full of goodies. You get the, the you get you get a uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on VHS. Whoa! Um, you get a Trashing the Snow T-shirt. You get a movie dumpster ornament, um, and a sticker pack, a movie dumpster sticker pack, um, a pin, and the fucking air a freshener. Lot of stuff. That's a ton that of way. shit. Merry Christmas, Christmas to you guys. I Happy will. Happy Hanukkah, Mars. I will say, um, before we pull this, 
Um, the Elves LP doesn't come out till March, so that's probably when your stuff's going to ship. We always make good. It just takes a little bit to gather all the ingredients for your package. But, uh, but yeah, here we go. Without further ado, Trashing Through the Snow, the winner of the contest is... Put your little paw on there. One. Pick one. I'm making sure I don't see it before I pull it out. Okay. Okay. The okay, here is... we go. Here we go. Here we go. Brandon Kent. Brandon Kent. Congratulations. You are the winner. The winner is you. Merry Christmas, Mr. Kent. Okay. Get him out of here. Wow. Um <laughs> Thank you again. Uh, so, all right, go to fucking bed. Do whatever you're going to do. We love you. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Brandon. And uh, uh, we love you. Love, peace, and happiness. Uh, MovieDumpsterPodcast.com. See ya.